Ash, and today I have a tutorial on how to use the new ECOT um, fabric actions. So um, what I have here is a layered pattern. This is from Miss Tina's Geo Joe collection, which is like really cool. Lots of awesome geometric um, type patterns that really translate well for this type of um, design, this uh, type of fabric style. Uh, it is a type of fabric, very ancient beautiful um, kind of fabric and uh, all this action does or all it does is it tries to replicate that look um, for your designs so the first thing that you're going to do in Photoshop is you'll load your styles uh, when you look in the folder there's a folder for um, Photoshop elements as well and if you're using Photoshop elements you'll be loading your actions from um, a, a bit differently and there's a tutorial in your download on um, how to do that if if you so need it so um, here's our folder and you can see here there's the PSC actions but here's our um, our main actions for Photoshop now um, you have the all-in-one right for Photoshop so all the actions load together and then there's another one that says all-in-one no dupe and what that means is there's no duplicate um, of the layer that you're working on with this set of actions. Um, this one will duplicate any layer that you start with. So you'll have the effect, like the layer effect, and then you'll also have, um, you know, the, the layer you started with, it'll just be hidden. This one will not duplicate it. It um, just edits that layer and that's the end. So um, now if, if you're feeling pretty confident, you can do the one with the no dupe. Um, this works especially well if you're working with a pattern uh, similar to what I'm working with. So I'm gonna choose a no dupe because if I used this one, you can see here that not all of the pattern goes to the edges, right? Like it's, you know, it's, it's everywhere. It's awesome. If I used the duplicate one, whenever you copy something and paste it, it pastes it into the center of your document, like the exact center. So it will move around those elements. Now you can always move them back to where they belong, but I, you know, I thought it'd be easier to have a duplicate and a no duplicate option. So dupe, no dupe. And also I should mention that in Photoshop elements, uh, that I'm going to show you really quickly <laughs> that your icons for that are different colors, right? So the ones you can see here, um, the one with no duplicate are with the pink, orange, blue one. And then the one with the duplicate has a, the yellow and, and the black. So that's how you'll be able to tell the difference between those two. All right. So we have a light, um, a medium and a heavy option and that just goes toward the amount of we're gonna say fraying that uh, you get with the action so we're gonna be about right here for this tutorial uh, for you to, you to see and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run the light action on my first layer which is the dark uh, color and you'll see what it does it goes pretty fast doesn't take too long. I mean, this is a 12 by 12 document and high resolution, but there it's done. Um, I'm going to zoom in closer so you can see what it does. It's um, pulling in the layers. Now, after you run your, your action, you're always going to want to then apply the color to your pattern or your whatever you're doing. You're going to want to do it after because of the way that this action runs and the filters that it uses. Um, it sharpens and it will over sharpen um, your color. So you'll always want to do a color overlay or something in the end to get it back to whatever color it is that you're wanting to start with. Or you could just run the action first and then do your colors after, whatever. Or you could just clip something to it, you know, whatever you wanna do, it's cool. All right, um, so we're gonna run the action again. I'm gonna run a different size this time. I'm gonna run medium. And I'm going to zoom out because I have a feeling that I'm using a layer that is not shown in this little zoom right here. Yep, there's the orange one. And I do like the effect of using uh, multiple uh, different ones, even on the same um, pattern page, if that makes sense. All right. Um, now, now I am going to duplicate one here in a moment, but I'm going to use light on this layer. 
and then I'm going to use heavy on the next, but I'm going to duplicate this one on my own, right? Because I, I, I know what I want to do here. I'm going to run medium again, and, and, and this is going for this uh, layer here. And then I'm going to run the one underneath it at heavy. Now, what I'm doing is I'm just layering an effect twice, right? So this is heavy. I'll show you. It's very frayed. Um, and this is heavy with the layer duplicated using a medium as well. So then you still maintain um, a, a little more of what that shape was you know, like what it was. Uh, heavy works really well with very large um, patterns, you know, like really large kind of elements and objects. But another, like I said, you can always just um, layer different effects together. So you could duplicate the layer that you're working on and maybe run a light on the one and then a medium on the next. And, um, and then you'll get that type of effect. So um, yeah, that's that's it. This works in Photoshop Elements like I showed you. You have your, your actions and then this is Photoshop CS. Again, you can do it with duplicate or no duplicate. Um, just whatever you prefer. And uh, yeah, I made this as a, um, as a, um, a, a, wow, I can't think of the word. It was a request by um, Studio Flurgs. I was really excited um, to try to help her. And I'm going to show you some elements that she used this action on so you can kind of see how it is used within kits. All right, this is some washi tape that she had taken. She had applied, um, I can see like a gold type overlay and then the, um, the e-cut action again. This is, um, you're viewing it sideways, but it is the same action again. So if you're wanting to go from side to side, remember all you have to do is just rotate your canvas afterwards. Oh, and this is really pretty. I love, I love this one. Very beautiful feather um, with that same effect. And it really, I think it translates very well. It gives a really um, sort of exotic feel uh, to, to the elements, but at the same time being, uh, you know, elegant. I don't know very pretty. So anyway, um, that's, you can kind of see how it could be used. Um, I believe that Miss Tina actually has a set of patterns that are, um, are this type of style. And, um, I want you to know that you can also, like I did, um, using her geo patterns, you can take patterns that you already have and create this effect just by, um, yeah, applying, applying the style or not the style, the action. <laughs> it's not a style. It's an action. All right. So, um, just again, we're going to do one more so you can see, um, and I'll be a little quieter this time. I'm just giving us a background color and I'm just doing some color overlays because I want it to actually kind of match the things that uh, Studio Flurgs made, <laughs> at least just for the tutorial. Um, all right, I'm just going to rasterize these layers. Now, um, I know you're probably going to ask, well, can I just merge all these layers together and run the action? Yes, you can. However, uh, if the if there are any overlapping elements, uh, like layers, it's not going to look as authentic. And, um, and I think it'll it's not going to look right. Okay. It's not, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Don't, um, unless it's all just one pattern. Like if you're, it's, if it's like a Chevron pattern and everything's the same color, go for it. But, um, all right, here we go. <laughs> I'm like, I promise I'm not going to talk. I'm talking. All right. So, um, let's see. We're going to do light on that one. We're going to do medium on this one. And I'm not going to use heavy on this specific pattern because it is a very, not very small, but it's a small pattern, you know, it's not very big. And uh, I think that if we use the heavy, it would kind of be overwhelming. So um, I just kind of switched in between the medium and the heavy. This will help it uh, as well, kind of just have like a more variant feel. Again, if let's say you wanted to have more of that shape, you could always have duplicated that layer and then like ran one twice. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. It's 
it's it's pretty uh, a pretty quick and easy way to get a fun effect on your patterns. Um, you're seeing this a lot now in fashion, you know, so um, it's definitely trending. So uh, have a good time with it and have a fantastic day. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to send me a message through mommyish.net. I have a contact form there. Just use it and uh, or you can contact me on Facebook as well. Um, I do my best to answer everything as, as soon as I can. So uh, have a fantastic day and enjoy the actions. Bye-bye.